What's up, everybody? This is Bradley Sun from Helium 10. So excited to share with you our new relaunch of Scribbles. It's new and improved. I love it. I told you guys about this a couple months ago that I had seen the preview version of it, and I was so excited to share it with you. Finally, they our developers finished it, and I'm able to show this to you. They really knocked this one out of the park, guys, because before I, before I worked here, as you guys know, I used to use Scribbles to write hundreds of listings for my Amazon clients, and I loved it. I didn't think that you could improve much on it, but wow, did our developers developers really do a number on scribbles. It is so cool what they have done. And I'm going to show you a brief overview here of how to use it. Later on, there's going to be some more videos that go a little bit more of a deep dive into the different buttons and the different tips and tricks, right? So um, make sure to watch out for there. But here's an overview of it just so you can kind of have a quick tour and uh, you can get a peek into a little bit of my methodology. One thing, as you guys might have seen my Cerebro Compare ASIN video that's on the Cerebro uh, pro training, that's the method that I use personally to get my top five to 10 keyword phrases that are most relevant to my listing, okay? And those are words that I really wanna put on phrase form in my listing. So here, I just ran this search on some collagen peptides. Here are the five top keyword phrases that I know are the most important, the potentially most um, uh, organically converting keywords that I can have on my listing. So I really wanna make sure it's in phrase form. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit export and I'm gonna hit copy to clipboard. I'm gonna go back to scribbles and I'm gonna paste it right here and press enter so I can go on to the next line. Now, the rest of my keywords, um, let me just go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna say 500 or 500 exact uh, volume or more. Um, let's go ahead and do this and maybe this, all right? So let me see how many keywords I can get. Here are 104 keywords. Let's just say that you did all the rest of your keyword research um, in Magnet, Cerebro, and you came up with this list of 104 keywords. I'm gonna copy that to clipboard and actually gonna put this right here in Frankenstein. You know, this could be um, stuff that you've gotten from other tools. It could be stuff that you've gotten from Magnet, stuff that you've gotten some, from Cerebro, your own studying reviews. You know, there maybe there's some keywords you wanna put in here. You just put it all all lump them all right here into Frankenstein. And what you wanna know now is how many unique words are in here. Because remember, these are the only ones I wanna put in phrase form in Scribbles. If you put like 50 phrases here in Scribbles, there's no way you're gonna be able to put 50 phrases in phrase form in your listing, most likely, all right? So I, that's why I pick five to 10 phrases and the rest I wanna do individual words. So the question is, how do I know what uh, how many individual words are here. There's 343 words, that's a lot. I'm gonna hit remove duplicates, okay? I'm going to uh, remove common words like a and or the. I'm gonna remove single letters, okay? And I'm gonna say one word phrase per line. So there, now I have 81 keywords, in unique ones, not 343. So again, let's go ahead and copy it. And now let's put it, paste it right here into scribbles line by lines. Really important, you have to do it line by line so it, it doesn't uh, consider it a full phrase, all right? Now I'm gonna hit apply. Now take a look at this, this is so cool guys. I have 79 individual words here that I need to I need to um, rank for, and I actually have five phrases right here that I want to make sure that I can rank for. So the first thing I have to do if I'm gonna rank for it is I gotta make sure it's in my listing at all, right? Okay, um, you notice that there's different colors here. These color groups are based, are ranked, uh, red is the highest searched volume keywords that are on your list, all right? Um, these are the highest phrases phrases and these are the highest individual keywords um, as you go down the list there's different colors you know like this yellow orange color is a little bit less search as far as exact phrase search volume you know this is the same column in, you know as here okay all right so that's how you can do that you can actually look you know you can make this narrow like hey show me only the highest search volume words that's this uh, red color right here so this is going to show me that um, as you can see this uh, that I'm pulling over, it's only affecting this. If I want both filters to go at the same time, I'm gonna hit this link button, now watch what happens. Now it takes both of them. So now I'm seeing the only the highest searched uh, individual words and phrases at the same time, the ones that are in red. So that's kind of cool right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making my listing. So. Um, Really, again, I wanna try and get as many of the phrases I can in my title, if possible. So I'm just gonna look here. Uh, I'm gonna do hydrolyzed lies, collagen peptides. 
Okay, now take a look what happened right here. As I use call, I in one little phrase, I was able to use two phrases. Cool, right? Three words, I was able to put two of my phrases in phrase form, collagen peptides and hydrolyzed collagen. So now both of these, um, a matter of fact, I can do I can do more. Watch this, watch this. I'm gonna do three in one. Collagen peptides, grass fed organic. Look at that. Now here's one little sentence. I was able to use three of my most important phrases and now a line is through it and tells me I've used it once. I've used this one once. Also, as you can notice, there's individual words here that were on my individual words list. Collagen, peptides, organic, uh, fed, all right? Those now are used too. Now I'm able to see what I've used. As I keep using them, it's gonna have a line through them, all right? Let me just continue on with this. Uh, high pro protein, let's just say, okay, I misspelled it. So look, I'm gonna use my, um, Auto correct or auto complete is cool. Um, high protein collagen powder. All right. So already I'm in my title. I've already used almost all of my important keywords. Now here's a Spanish word. I usually put those in the back end. So I'm going to put that in the back end. Here is my back end search terms. I'm going to put it in here. Cola, heno, and polvo. Look, I can put it right there. And uh, since it's important, I like duplicating my most important phrases in my subject matter fields. This is also in the back end of your keywords. I'm going to do collagen powder, collagen peptides. As you can see here, it's showing me how many characters I've used. You have only a certain amount of bytes, right? Collagen peptides. Um, what else can I do? Hydrolyze collagen. Whoops. I went over. It's 53 out of 50. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in my subject matter line too. All right. Um, collagen and polvo. All right. Collagen and polvo. So now look, I have all of these words. Now it's like twice. I, I still have to put this one. So now look, it says I've used collagen powder twice. What about the word collagen itself throughout my whole entire listing? I've used it five times. All right. So this is so cool, guys. You have um, you can continue making the listing. You're going to know what you've used and what you haven't used. And um, check this out here in the bullet points. Maybe I want to use an emoji. I can do that now. I'm going to put this as my first little thing right there. Watch, you only have a, a certain number of bytes you wanna use. This actual emoji takes up six bytes. We have that right here. So I'm gonna say, hey, right here, here's my uh, thumbs up and I'm gonna keep going. Vegan, uh, coffee, uh, mixer, collagen. You know, I'm just typing in random things, all right? Now watch this, if I wanted to go ahead and make this all caps, you know, since it's the kind of like, that's kind of a trendy thing to do, just hit this button, boom, all caps. If I just wanna, if I had it all caps, I don't want it to be all caps, I'm gonna hit this. There, now it's just uh, capitalizes the first letter in each word. If I want it all smaller case, boom, hit this one. Now it's all smaller case. Um, I can also do things like uh, undo, you know, uh, undo and redo. That's kind of cool too, um, in case I make a mistake. All right, guys, uh, subject matter is right here. I'm gonna keep writing the listing. I can go to description. I have the search terms. This is the back end, you know, search terms I can use. And let's say, hey, I see here, I used collagen six times. Where did I use collagen in my listing? Watch, I'm gonna hit this button right here or just hit this. Now, everywhere where I have collagen is highlighted right here. Now I can see real easily what's going on. Okay. Um, there's a lot of cool things that you can do. You can import uh, listing titles so that you can uh, import it right into here. Guys, um, I can go back to the history in order to see uh, listings I've worked on in the past. I can export this to a CSV file. All these things, guys, I'm gonna make other videos about later, but I just want to give you this cool overview to show you all of the cool new features that we have here um, for Scribbles that really allow you to optimize your listing better and uh, and more easy. A lot of ways, a lot of these things that I was using before, I would actually kind of just manually kind of keep a tally how many times I use a certain phrase or a certain word. Now I don't have to worry about that because I have these counts right here. Um, I know which words are gonna be the most commonly searched because I have these colors. Guys, the new Scribbles is so amazing. Please give us your feedback on Facebook or send a message to you know customer support to let us know how you like this new tool and look out for the new videos that's gonna go a little bit of a deeper dive into how to use Scribbles. All right, guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you later.